James, how much are you uh, looking forward to this break and going into training camp? Yeah, it's going to be nice. It's, it's always a good balance of, you know, you get this, this time right here, this past 10-week um, period, and then you come in here as a team, you see where you are, see things you need to work on, talk with your coaches, watch film. It's a lot of studying that goes on, and then you've got these five weeks coming up. It's making sure you're, you're healthy. Uh, making sure your mind's in the right spot, so spending time with friends and family, and making sure you know there's a few things you want to fine tune before camp starts, so that when you get here, uh, July you know, 26th, I think, or something like that, um, you're ready to roll and ready to ramp up to be in perfect shape and perfect condition uh, with the best technique you can have week one. How important was Doug to you guys in kind of the early stages so far? He's been great. He's been awesome. Uh, he's been around for a long time, ton of experience all over the place, which is great. Um, most of the time, that's just going to give you different techniques. I've been playing uh, going into my ninth season, so I've had, uh, I think, four different O-line coaches at this point. Each coach has certain things that you know they might value a little more, they might coach a little more. And so just having a new guy that's, that's really experienced, um, he's a great teacher in the, in the meeting rooms. We're getting into a lot of detail already uh, about, hey, you know, here's something you can think of. Here's something you can try. And, you know, different guys need different tips and uh, different ways of thinking of things. So just having another guy in there that's um, it's a great leader, a great teacher, it's, it's going to be a great relationship. I can tell that already. How, how big is this opportunity in terms of just being able to compete for a starting job this time around? It's huge. I, I think um, it's all you can ask for is to be in the mix, right? Um, you know, with the experiences I've had, a crazy season last year. Um, got to you know play a good bit in 2020. It's it's just something you're really looking forward to. It's something, all the hard work you put in, the dedication, the preparation, the sacrifice, all those things that um, have been going on since you know I can't remember. Uh, you know you go back before college even. It's it's just been this long road, um, kind of to this opportunity. So you just make sure you're making the right decisions. Um, you put the first things first. So. That's sacrificing something that you want today for something that you want more tomorrow, then that's what you have to do. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's a great opportunity. It's fun. It's incredibly um, humbling. And um, I just feel so blessed to even be in this position to be in the NFL and, and competing for a starting job. So it, it's a lot of fun. We've got a great group. We've got a great team. It's, it's going to be a great experience. In that same vein, how does that relationship then kind of go with you and Trevor then because both of y'all are, are, are competing for the same spot. Absolutely, yeah. And that's uh, that's the nature of this league. You're always going to have people competing. Competition is going to make the team better. I mean, you draft a guy that that talented, that wants to work as hard as he does, it's, it's going to bring great things. You know, I know that uh, week one, we're going to have the five best linemen on the field. We're going to feel the best unit that we have. And whoever that is, um, you know, that's what's going to be best for the team. That's what's most important. So I think uh, having guys out there competing for spots, you know, not just on the offensive line, but across the board on this team, it's going to make us better. And at the end of the day, that's what's most important. How different is it just not having Teron around in the locker room and in the meetings and all that? It's very different. Yeah, he's a great presence. He's a great leader, a great player. Uh, so many great things about him. And you know, I think his void is going to have to be filled um, by a number of different people. It's not going to be just one person step in and say, you know, hey, you're, you're taking all of Teron's responsibilities, whether that's on game day, whether that's day-to-day um, -day on the field, whether that's day-to-day -day in the locker room, or even in the community. There's so many places, so many great things that he did for this team, this city. Um, so we're going to have to have guys step up. But in the same vein, it's a great opportunity for guys. You know, it opens a spot. Okay, well, guys can lead, step into a leadership role. They can step into places in the community that need help, and it gives them an opportunity to grow. And that's really a, a good opportunity for a lot of people. James, 